Booyah Kasha, welcome back to another episode of Can't Handle the Heat. It's your boy G Swizz. Joined by Michael Mata. And Joe Worsley. It is late here. We are currently in Lanikai, Hawaii. We had about a day and a half break from West Bachelor, Wisconsin. Went a little in South Bay, LA, and now we're back in Alpaca hosting our four man tournament, the Luau. Back in Alpaca. Back what? Back in Alpaca. Did I say back in Alpaca? Did I say that? Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Um, we got we got back from Wapaka. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd just kind of go down team by team and also the kind of the tournament um, and just kind of talk about it, really. Coming into this year, I know there were... Like last year, people were like, oh, we want to take on out of system, et cetera, et cetera. What is going on? What, <laughs> what, is, go what is going on What does here? that look for? I was looking at you're talking. He looks so mad. <laughs> so mad, dude. Uh, all right, go. Continue. All right. Anyways, um, last year it was <laughs> it was people were like we can tell people were gunning for us, but this year it was on a whole nother level. I got pe we got people like oh we're coming after you. Like I remember we showed up the day before we were there a couple days before, but the day before like oh this guy made a team and this guy made a team. They said they're gonna come to throne you and come beat you. And here's the thing. I talked to I talked to you guys about this in the car. I was like, dude, people got to stop worrying about us, honestly. Not worrying about us, but, like, folks. Because you got to realize there's so many freaking good teams at this tournament, an insane amount of good teams, where they got to focus on the other teams. Because a lot of those teams that said they wanted to beat us or formed to beat us or whatever, I don't think they made it out of the quarters, let alone get in the quarters. So people need to start focusing on that. And I think that, and I get, like, we're the champs from last year and whatnot, but, like, in my mind, we don't come in thinking, okay, we're ready for this team. We're like, oh, that team's good and whatnot, but, like, we just focus the goal at hand. And I think people, there's one thing we have to say is just focus the goal at hand. Also, what are you saying? No, 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 also, no. the seating thing is ridiculous to me. People care about seating. I think that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Like, sometimes, I remember the last time I in paid. Your life? I've, I've heard a lot of ridiculous things in my entire life. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, I think people care way too much about it. Like, um, I remember Wapaka, well, the people, they were like, oh, make sure, can you guys, like, and we love them for it, we, we just don't really care what it, we can put us last, we really don't care. Um, but they were like, oh, can you check the CD, make sure it's all right? We're like, first, one, we don't know anybody at these tournaments, the names or anybody. Second, we don't really care, so we're the last guys you should be asking. Um, so I think two lessons people should take away, if we have anything to offer to people out there, <laughs> is... Don't care about the seeding, and focus on the other team at hand. Just focus on the main goal at hand. Um, if, if, I, if we had any advice to go from you. Um, with that being said, I think we beforehand. I just posted about this actually today. Is that we stick to our rituals. We always get like zero amount of sleep the night before. <laughs> Wake up super sleep deprived. Eat nothing, <laughs> and then we go and play some of the worst volleyball <laughs> in pool play. Some of the worst volleyball we can actually ever play. Would you? I mean, for me, I don't know. For me, I just feel a lot of times like dead out there. I'm like, why do I have so much, such little energy? <laughs> like, because I haven't slept or slept. slept. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Joe just. <laughs> Joe just Bring up my downfall right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joe said anything except correcting me or giving me just glazes right now. Um, glares. Um, and then I always like, I don't know about you, what's like your ritual? For me, I like to just like sleep, eat something, and then I'm, all right, I'm good to go. I feel it. What about you? Ooh. Pray. Pray? <laughs> you pray? Big Joe's prayer. a God fearing man? I'm a God fearing man. <laughs> I pray. What do you pray? What do you say? I don't know. I don't pray. <laughs> I definitely don't pray. I don't have a routine. What do I do? No, I'm saying like... I always wear my hat in warm-ups. Jumbos. Oh. Jumbos. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. Every game? Yeah. Or just the first? Not every game. Is that, is that a every ritual? Every game you wear your hat in the warm-up. You should do that in indoor <laughs> Coach. <laughs> Coach, you gotta wear my hat. Wear a beanie. <laughs> I can't play without my hat I'm in warm-ups. It's my thing, Coach. It's my thing. Uh, what about you? No, I don't have much much of a ritual, but I know I think you're similar. I, or someone's similar here yeah. that they don't eat. Is that? I can't eat or I'll crap it all up. Yeah, I, I just can't eat during tournament days, and when tournaments run really long, it's pretty tough. 
It is. You get it's so tired. Sad. You get so it's just pure adrenaline and pure just. Yeah, like, it's just pure getting through a day. All heart, baby. And then, <laughs> and then just struggling through it after. But I don't have any rituals. Yeah. I don't have any rituals. I wouldn't call the sleeping rituals. It's more I'm just exhausted because <laughs> yeah. I got no sleep in the night before, which is unideal. Um, mm. But I think that I think that it works in our favor because <laughs> I don't know. We come out a little under the people like, ooh, these guys may not look so great. And then I think when I think is it is either the last match or when playoffs hit, that's when we kind of flip the switch. Whenever it needs to be, I guess. Whenever yeah. it needs to be fl- flipped. Cause we had some tight games in pool play. It was like nineteen twenty one twice. Really? Yeah, I didn't realize that until I had to go look at the names for oh, okay. uh, certain stuff. I was like, ooh, nineteen twenty one. I was like, oh snap. Yeah, I don't know, but I definitely I think what's interesting is how like our team has molded into. Like my Lukola team, mm. I think that there's a lot of strong like I don't know I I wasn't with you guys when I wasn't with you guys but I feel like we were we were becoming more like that like that kind of ball team like we're in the warm up we don't bounce we just go like did you guys bounce when you're fourteens fifteens would like Jordan go out there and I didn't bounce hit. yeah would Donovan remember. go out there and bounce. Yeah, I think so. I feel like people would bounce. And my cool Luko team was maybe the only right. team that I've ever warmed up against that didn't. At least at like 17th, 18th, when you fully can and you're in peak teenage testosterone time and you're laying off and you're hitting like yeah. deep corners, I think I've never seen anyone else do it. Yeah. And then like I've always, we've always, we never knew what seed we were and we never knew who we were playing. Oh, and I, I think you guys, when I first came, were. Like, just the way that you guys you guys are so um, bought in and disciplined and, like, into volleyball that you guys would crack down, like, the seeds or be like, okay, we have this, we play them. You'd watch film. Mm-hmm. We just never did that. I don't know why, but we just never watched film. And grass, right. obviously, we're not going to watch film. And indoor, we do, we all watch yeah, film now. Yeah, scouting reports are on grass yeah. tournament. Every single like, team in the tournament. It's just, like, maybe it's the grass that pulls us, pulls us that way. But and the tour. I think the tour and plays the tour, a big part But, like, the fact that we kind of don't. I always think like people shouldn't be looking at their the next match. Yeah. Like I when people map out like if we win we play them and if we don't like you're just allowing mm-hmm. yourself to so, have those thoughts. Exactly. And you're allowing yourself at 24 all to be like oh if we play them if oh if we don't you play psych that, yourself out too. You don't like if you just don't give yourself the information you can't how you can't overthink. Live in the moment. You only know what you know and that is that you're playing this team right now and it's 24-24. So uh, I think. Like you said, I think that was pretty good advice. To, like, when people are in tournaments, they're really and these are this is for young kids too, um, that listen to this and that are gonna play in more nationals or anything. Like, it's it's cool to do homework and film for sure, but um, don't get caught up in the seating. Don't get caught up in the bracket. Just take it one game at a time. And as long as you take care, usually at those levels, if you take care of your stuff really well, yeah, there's not a lot of teams that will beat you. Yeah, um, it just ends up being who's going to beat themselves. So, I think that's pretty good um, advice that you gave. I think that it's kind of funny because the first match we literally, I knew for some reason we knew that we were off the first match. We show up somebody and somebody told us exactly. So we had the second match. So we were like, okay, we see this row of courts, and we're like, okay, we know that we play in this row of courts right now, right? So we literally went court by court and asked them. Hey, do you guys know who your top seed in your pool is? Because we knew we were the top seed in the pool. That's all we knew. We were the first game off, top seed in the pool. We went court by court. Who's we that? Just you? Or? I went nine courts. I went Did nine you go courts. With them? I didn't even no, no, no. I went that. twelve courts. I think twelve courts. I went twelve courts, and I asked individually. Where was I? I don't know. We're always spread out. We're always late to. Ma- we're always. We had never. We're always so dysfunctional. It's kind of funny because people probably see our jersey and see how we play. We play well together. They're like, wow. These guys seem like they're really well put together. <laughs> and then this off, like, as soon as the match ends, we're just so discombobulated. It's unbelievable. I think it's people try to put us in order, too. And it just doesn't work out. It's just not, it's just not going to work. <laughs> people who come in and try to put us yeah. in a lot of, like... It just, well, I think we have, like... I think part of it is, like, organized chaos. Yeah. I don't know. And it's also purposeful chaos. Yeah. And at least for me, like for like that example of like why we don't know who we're playing next. Like other people think it's just because we're just aloof. And for me, it's like, I don't want to know who I'm playing next so that when I'm playing, I don't think about who I could be playing next. 
Like, that's a purposeful action. But people would never think that. People would just say, oh, they never know who they're playing. It's a little bit of both. People who, try to, people who try to add, like, really strict organization into us, I feel like it frustrates us more than anything. Whenever well, we get, because we know that what we're doing, like, we have adapted to it and that it works for us. And we've and we've tried the the organized and we've tried the un, un, unorganized and we just found our happy medium of what us. needs to be organized and what not, needs to not be. It's like when your mom comes in, you have a, a messy room, wherever, but you know where everything is. And then they <laughs> clean it, and you don't know where anything is. It's exactly how it is. We know what we're doing. It doesn't look like we know what we're doing. That is such a good. Point. We know exactly. We're like, going mom, on. where's my stapler? And she's like. It's with all the staplers and all the pencils. And you're like, where is what? that? What? That makes no and sense. Like, yeah, and it's like, <laughs> I had it in the perfect spot. She's like, in the closet, oh, under your man. shoe. And you're like, yes. Dude. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a really good point. That is kind of what it what it is. And it looks messy, but I don't know. It works for us so far. And when I think we're all very adaptive, too. Like, if something wasn't working. Adapt. Adapt. We really tried to, because we want to win. Yeah. And, like, we're not attached to our, like, process. If we're losing, we're going to be like, all right, we got to try something else. It also that helps always that, comes kind of first. But it also helps that we're able to try different things. It, it helps. Well, no, everyone's able to. They just get so caught up in, like, thinking mm. that one way is the right way or thinking that they can't. But everyone's able to try. I feel, I feel like, yeah. like a lot of people don't explore the non-traditional ways of doing things because – of one reason or another and I get that I'm in that situation we're all in that situation in a lot of aspects in our life just volleyball is not one of them yeah but we're all able to go untraditional and try other things but it's hard you gotta it takes some courage to break out of that and like go against the flow and have people think that you're not you don't know what you're doing or to struggle and then see oh this doesn't work or this does and so that's a process in itself that I think we've all gone through and some people don't go through. I know at UCLA, those people that I was like, dude, they'd get mad that I would not like do a warm up that was military esque. And I'd be like, I've tried that and it doesn't work for me. Have you tried not doing a military esque? Because what you're doing is not working for you. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I mean? Bro. And I was like, we got into a bunch of conversations about like, and I had to reel it in. And, but I was like, I do this purposefully. Like, if I were to stay focused for, for guys that have played in the NCAA, you know this. It's like, warm up so is an hour and, and a half, hour and a half. Hour and a half. If I'm locked in an hour and a half before the match in the fifth set, my brain is fried. Yeah. Like I don't have the mental capacity. I think it's like science has talked about this. You don't have the mental capacity to be at your full like peak focus for three and a half hours. It's not Four, possible. Like yeah. unless you're on some stimulant. Which we're not. So Crack cocaine. For, for an hour, yeah, I'm going to be like, and I don't want to get too tired either. Like, an hour and a half, I don't need to be ready to go. Yeah. I need to just be moving around. Like, I don't need to be moving around, actually. And yeah. Like, if I had my choice, I'd come out with 45 minutes and actually Less. do what I need to do. But people really wanted it to be a certain way and to look a certain way because that's what they think works. And to be honest, it does work for a lot of people. Brew wind. As long as you've tried multiple things and you can say, this works best for me, then I can respect it and say, okay, do your thing. But like Wooden was very like yeah. socks, no wrinkles and that kind of stuff. And I love that. I was raised in that. But if you do try a lot of different things, like I said, like for me, I knew that I, in the fit set, I would tail off like mentally yeah. and physically. If I gave my all in the whole warm up, I would be gassed. And that's why we're warming up is the fit set. It's the yeah. most important part of the whole day, and I'm beat because I warmed up well. That's not really the point of vol. Like, yeah, they don't give you a scholarship to warm up well. Yeah, you know, like they don't have you on the team just to have a good warm up. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, and I think that two biggest messages. I mean, to each their own. Yes. Obviously, like if you're out there taking cracks, I'm not gonna judge you because maybe you need to take cracks because you need your shoulder to be warm and. Um, and have the confidence what, zero zero to take a crack or whatever the case may be. I'm not gonna judge your situation because if I needed to like really warm up my arm one day, and I go and just start hammering balls, I don't want people to you know like I'm doing it purposefully. So um, there's no judgment at all for whatever people are doing as long as you don't try and infringe upon what we're doing. Yeah. And then telling us what we're doing is wrong because what you're doing apparently is right, and not like understanding the individuality of 
warm ups and and what different people need. Right. Sorry, that was a huge rant. No, 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 you're not. It was just still. I mean, it was still the same subject we're talking about. Okay. Though. So that makes sense. That makes complete sense. So, dropped a bunch of knowledge bomb. Seems like Joe and Mike have had some recent things that they're some recent things close to heart here. Joe with about the. What? Well, you with the warm, the warm yeah, you in the warmth oh, or something. What and did then, Joe have? And Joe with the uh, people, we the controlled chaos of us. Mm-hmm. I think, I think this, this is a Bruin. I'm glad yeah, that, that was. A that's probably the podcast. That is a Bruin. The in, pod, the that is a Bruin in Joe's. True, in Joe's true. Mind, yeah. The podcast is better than therapy. What do you think, Joe? We got delirious, uh, Joe over here. <laughs> Joe, are you okay, man? H- what is wrong H- with you? Force us into this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> Joe. You can literally <laughs> walk out if you want to walk Joe, out. Walk out. Joe has the room. worst attitude right now, dude. He does. He does. Joe has the worst. Hey, attitude coach, right coach. Now. I could. You here? I could, need like, you here, buddy. Right, I could just fall asleep. Joe, I need you. I need any more out of you, coach. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna call you out right now, and I need more out of you. I need more out of you. What do you mean? I'm the only. Me and Mike are the only one talking right now. I'm talking. <laughs> That's a good point. He brings up a good point. Well done. What well do done. we got? What do we got next on the agenda? <laughs> all right. Speaking of that, all right. So pool play is over. We finished pool play. Play like absolute ass. It's falling right into schedule, baby. And then we have a gnarly first match. Who did we gnarly. Play? We played Jeff Samuels and and Herschel mm. and the guy who wore four chains. He was sick. Oh, so Andre, sick. Andre. Andre. That's right, that's right. Phenomenal guy. I was so distracted by his chain, chain the entire time. Yeah, 100%. Chain game. It was unbelievable. And then Jeff wore two chains. I don't know if Herschel. Herschel, did he wear any chains? No, I don't think so. <sighs> Too bad. Well, they made up for it. Yeah, I was going to say, they had, they had six chains, three guys. <laughs> They're doing all right. That was amazing. We And and, and I think that's when we kind of turned it on, I'd say, for us. Um, the pool play weren't so hot. So... That'll happen. We're all behind. And then next match, we play Aurelia uh, and the boys. Mm-hmm. Um, dude went off. That dude, we couldn't stop yeah, that guy, yeah. really. It was tough. He was hitting was high. He was hitting deep. He was us. hitting strong. Dude, and he's and he's a great guy. Good dude. decision he's, making. Yeah, yeah. Super good guy. Yeah, really nice guy. And he was making he Shout was out making to Aurelia. Awesome yeah, Aurelia and the boys. And the boys. And the boys. <laughs> and the boys. Aurelia and the boys. <laughs> That's the first vlog The ever. first vlog ever. We played Aurelia. He was our third match. Um, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First wall pack ever. Wow. And we played him, and we're like, yeah, just play out of gnarly game versus Relly and the Boys. Me and Dalt said that, and Joe. And they just stuck. So anytime we play Relly, it's Relly and the Boys. That's sick. Um, handle business, won that one. And then this is when we had like three back to backs. And then we faced the GOAT. Was it the GOAT? Was it the, the quarterfinals now? Yeah, the quarterfinals. Crocs. Crocs. Have you guys. Holy so, God. all right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. People say, don't meet your heroes. You know what I'm saying? But have you ever seen someone and they're. If equal to, if not more than you've ever dreamt them to be. So this guy, yeah, that's long a really hair. Good point. Wow, that was well said. Thank you. This well guy said. is about six six. Give a weight. Two fifty. Two sixty. Long hair. Plays in Crocs. Two seventy. <laughs> they call him the fridge. Uh, and he was pounding beers during the game, and he hangs out. And he had a vape. He yeah. had his yeah, yeah. vape he in his pocket. Yeah. He pull out and he hangs it at the CB, CB, CBD. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, he hangs out the CB, uh, CBD tent all day, all the time. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing there. Uh, I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take any cracks at it. And he was incredible. He has the most un- some of those unorthodox pl- style plays. Like one of those guys gets a hand on it, he's got a chance. And he's the gnarliest wrist ever. And front row, back Super row good defense, touch. Super dude. good defense. Lipped you like three times. Yeah, open net too. And he and then we met him and got to know him. He is norm. Every, norm. The boat right, eh? <laughs> and he is everything I want him to be and more. He's amazing. Amazing. This guy is so funny. Yeah, it was his birthday, too. It was his birthday, too. At midnight. Midnight. And we hit him at midnight, and he's amazing. And he's 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 a beast all around. Yeah, and he is. We had the pleasure of playing him. And you remember after the game? Shout like, out to you, Crocs. Yeah, shout out to Crocs. He's like, I don't even think we'd make it this far. I'm like, bro, you're the GOAT. Of course you made yeah, it Yeah, he might be one of the best grass players I've ever seen in my 100%, life. 100%. 100%. No Just doubt. his ability to do everything, his in skill, Crocs. His, in Crocs. his touch, his leaping ability, his angles, his creativity. He had the crowd going. He, he gets the crowd going. He, the local boy. He's just everything. He's the Crocs MVP. Or, uh, the MVP. The grass MVP. 100%. Our grass MVP goes he's to Crocs. He's the face of grass volleyball. AVP grass volleyball, you have a face out there. You just need to find him. His uh, name's Crocs. His name's Crocs. <laughs> Crocs. The Frit. 270 long hair plays in Crocs. He's a beast. He's a god. That's like, I don't know. You'll know who we're talking about yeah, when you see him. You'll know. <laughs> then we go into the semis. Uh, by this point, we're pretty tired. I'm from like, damn, bro. My f- I mean, you don't really feel it. 
but uh, Norm well, no, all... no, no, no. We were well, at least personally, we were doing well because the games are really nicely, yeah. like one after another yep. on center, and it's actually the the rest is what actually gets to me personally. Yeah, hundred percent. It's we like when that. you get hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah. And this one was beautiful. It was like four games in a row with like ten minutes in between yep. of chilling cruising um and then like getting them done and, and not having to rewarm up every time so semis i felt great yeah finals i was ice cold right we'll talk we'll get to that okay. so the semis i think was our best game all day to be honest with you like in terms of all around and i would like to say this is the first tournament the first tournament we've ever won a tournament strictly off of defense i think what? you look, 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 hear me out hear me out usually hear me out hear me out usually we're getting we don't we don't de- defend well, and we're just bombing aces. Our serving this is one of our worst serving tournaments of all time. I would big say time, so. Big time. I would say so. And worst did, serving tournament for sure. Hundred percent. So sure. what I'm saying is we want most of our points off of defense, front row and back row. Yeah. You guys' pulling defense was the best defense you guys have ever played. You guys' blocking defense was the best blocking defense you guys have played. I would say usually I'm shit at back row defense, but I play. I'd say this is the best back row defense I played. Therefore, I think with our serving being absolute ass. And our defense being super, super on, and I, you, you did we, that point some justice. I, I agree with you. And I'm saying that obviously we side out very, very well, and I think that that's what held us. Joe, what do you think? Agreed. Uh, I think our defense is good. I think our serving was good when it had to be. I, think I don't know. About I think that. certain like we had like a certain guy like hit big serves when we needed it to happen, um, which is always important. Like overall, it wasn't very good. I know, like personally, I was horrible. The biggest thing for me is we didn't play at all. For me, I have to, like, for my serve, it's so much about rhythm on my serve. I had no rhythm. Like, we didn't play it at all. It was tough. It was the first grass tournament that I hadn't touched the ball, like, for a long time. And then I definitely know I felt the difference in pool play, and I still felt the difference, like, at times in the playoffs, for sure. I'm usually like that, but I, I didn't feel that way. I definitely felt – it's not like you don't remember how to play, but you definitely feel like you right. can't do – Things that you usually could do. 100%. Yeah. And just your touch on the ball is just not as clean as, as it should be. So, yeah, I definitely felt that way. 100%. I'm saying. So, um, this team was with Nolan Albright. Uh, and he had been winning all the tournaments up until this point. Pottstown, the Clash, and up until... And he made a video about us, posted us. So he made our... Ron Anchorman, he made our faces on it, which I loved. Which I loved that. And uh, we go in, and I knew the and personally I knew these guys were going for us. And Tyler, Tyler, what's his last name? The lefty setter from Florida. Skyler. 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 Um, little throw up. Yeah. Little throw up. And then the guy who played in the finals, his name's Max, or his last name's Max. And then wait, the guy who played in the final. I thought we were talking about the semis team. Yeah, but last year, man, last year, the year before. Oh yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. His last name's Max, and and then first name is no. Whose last name is Max? Liam Maxwell. This is the fourth. Um. And yeah, they were a really good team. Really, really good team. Really well put together from all over. And personally, I knew they were, and they told. Obviously, they were talking to people and they making videos and stuff. But I knew that, and I heard around they were coming for us, which fires me up personally. I love that. Um, I come in and I knew that. I personally, I came with a fired up attitude, and I was ready to ready to play ball. I think we all were. And like you said, the games after one another helped a lot. Mm-hmm. And they were really, really good. They made some really good plays. Um and we made some really, really good plays. Ended up coming on top, and I think it was really cool. And anything to add, boys? Had some good servers. Yeah, they server. did. I think it's our best. Their best. Our best. Uh, they had some really legit servers. All around servers. Seeing that was the toughest servers we faced all around as a team. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. I think we handled pretty well though, to be honest. I mean, we try and fight them off, but. They were the better. They're the best servers for sure. I'm sorry. I think they got. I think they got me on three aces. Three aces. I know the. Yeah, maybe two, but I mean they got one hit you. One hit me one down hit the me line. One hit me high and it was strong. Yeah. And just sent, and then. One you got me down the line once. And then one um, came in the middle of us and it sh- I should have taken it. No, that was in the finals. Oh. You got aced. High. There's one that from you that went off the bar, and there's one that went off the side. Yeah. There you go. Those two. Yeah, I don't know. They were good. They Skyler's were good. a legit server. Um, All around, so very Max, strong the team. The Max guy was super he, – he's really strong. He had a stronger serve than you thought. It's yeah. heavy. It doesn't look – It doesn't look, look str- strong, but it's heavy. 
Yeah, they're they're legit. No one has a good serve. Yeah, they're legit, and they actually took out Surgeon. Yeah, they got Surgeon in quarters. Uh, they, yeah, they crushed him. Apparently, the score I heard somebody told me that was like fourteen and fifteen. Yeah, but the problem with this is a problem with, with the Surgeon team is that really good players, but they needed. I think that, like for example, a Surgeon came out and was like, "Wow, you really got to try against these teams." I'm like, dude. These teams are nasty that we're facing. Like, yeah. like these teams are absolutely nasty. I don't think they expected that. And I think that they probably needed, uh, I don't know, a more stable setter maybe. That's in my the thing opinion. is I go back to California or even Hawaii, and people are like, who are the guys you're playing in the final? I'm like, dude, these guys play grass year-round. They round. would kick everyone There's grass. literally players like who've come to the – TJ DeFalco came to the tournament a couple of years ago. Nicholas Jersey. These guys come and play – and like you said, like they these guys play grass year, right? It's a different <laughs> game, and they're legit they players. This. And they're losing. <laughs> TJ lost the round of 16. Surgeon lost in the round of 8. Like, 14. Like, imagine, these guys are some of the top in the world. <laughs> and Crocs is out here. <laughs> she, like, smoking them. Like, like, think about that. Like, you, like, laugh about it, but it's true. Like, these guys are, like, no joke. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so took care of business semifinals. Then we had a break. They condensed the court into one court, um, and it was, and they had the women's go first, and then the break happened. So this yeah. is when this is the break, kind of gets to you. You know what I'm saying? You're just literally For chilling sure. there. And the women's game went to three. It went to three. That always happens though. You gotta count on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we go up, and it was really, really cool. It was so hard. How'd you guys get in the? How'd you guys get in the finals? Cause we were kind of spread out before the finals. Like how'd you guys get? I don't in? remember. I had to literally drop my shoulder, climb over chairs. Climbed in eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just gotta keep going. I don't remember either. I think I tried to come in through the back. We were warming up at the gap at the pipe. Yeah, I showed Joe the spot. Real? Oh, the pipe next to the the Wilson tent or the Wilson? No, no. So there was like a generator. If you guys are ever in cold weather, (laughs) you find like an exhaust of anything, and you like I was just doing my knee exercises like right in right in front of this exhaust pipe of a generator. It's blowing out. Suit like you had to stand far back. Super hot air. And by the time I got in there, I was ready to go. Like, yeah. I felt like trash. And then I found that pipe. And I, by the time I got in there, I was like, my knees, everything was feeling great. Joe warmed his shoulder up. And his knees a little. What are you, just like crawling? Yeah, he was. <laughs> Somebody has a video of it. Somebody has a video of me doing it. Yeah. The pipe awesome. was like a foot above the ground. Yeah. And we were just both like trying to warm our shoulders up in it. That's funny. That's yeah, fine. we were ready to go. And I don't know how we got in, but the crowd was nuts. Dude, it's it, kind of. It really reminds me, it's like. Of a poor man's, like, 1990s AVP-ish yeah. thing. Everyone's hammered. Or like, 1980s Everyone's... AVP, where it's, like, adult-based, drinking-based, mm-hmm. like, intimate, where, like, people are setting up chairs all around the court, like, a dude on the mic that's just willing to say whatever he wants. Shout out to Jason. Like... Got a lot of flack. That reminds me of, like, our yeah. I mean, last the... chance of experiencing anything that's remotely close to what the AVP used to be. Mm. And the direction where the event for Wildpack is every year grows and grows and grows. Like, it could turn into, like, something crazy. I saw a picture the other day, I don't know who posted it, of the 1990 Hermosa Open. Compa- yes, yes, yes. I found, I found Somebody saw that, and it was crazy, dude. Crazy. Insane. Was on Let's Get Weird. Yeah, maybe. We, I saw that as well. we saw it somewhere, and I saw these pictures of these... Uh, of uh, the difference between this past Hermosa and it's just like so lame. It's it is lame to look at. Crazy. Sad to look at. It yeah. is. Um, it's like seeing the six man from before. Yeah. You ever seen? Can't see the ground. Somebody gave me a picture of my dad's uh, playing the six man. Someone at Hermo- in Hermosa at Twenty Second Street. Shout out to you. Um, and it was just nuts. I was like, holy cow! There was. N- Thousands and thousands of people. Yeah, like ridiculous. The of like it, then like compared to now more than Coachella. Yeah, it was nuts. You think you think it was well, voted top party in LA to be at, at uh, for those years while I was going? Yeah, like oh, that. of course, dude. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of people. You think Wapaka could ever come to that? Maybe not thousands, but a, a, a it has way scale. more courts. That's for sure. But they got to make the stadium bigger. I think I think they got to make the stadium court bigger. Yeah, people mm. probably go away because they can't see at Wellpack, I bet. Oh, a million percent. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't even get in. Dude, I remember it was kind of funny going in. Cause you could be like, oh, I was sorry. always trying to check on the score for the girls because yeah. I was out there by the pipe. I couldn't see anything. It was kind of funny when we were walking in. Cause they, like, yeah, they probably lose some, a, little, a couple of fans because they can't see for sure. If they extend the How do you bit. make it better but still Bigger, co- more. Dude, there will be plenty of people. Do you remember? Dude, there were people. There were rows, 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 rows. Keep rows. it intimate. Just build, I don't know, just... 
Put the stands like a little further out and up higher, more, and more yeah, people inside, higher. or do you make the a stands higher. bigger? A little higher, a little higher. You have to, because think about it. It's only three sides because yeah, the barn's higher, right there, yeah, and then you got people who aren't even. And then there was there's uh, there was the 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 walkway, and then people were in the beach bleachers because they couldn't really see yes, anything. Yes, or make yes, the yes. ends longer, the sides can stay shorter. Build it off the barn a little more because it's just on the sides where they pack it in really. I think uh, here's another thing. Know. They can build it off the barn because the balcony is still, like a smaller. Because as long as the balcony sees above the bleachers, because the ones above the balcony they're like in this little hut. So they build super it. true. They could be four sides. There could be four sides. Stuff like that. And, and trust me, it's, it'll get because there's so many people. There's so people people crowd around. But I think it has the potential to grow something like that as long as they literally like physically move the court out and create more room. Um, right. and get a little higher bleachers. But who are we? Well, Pack, you guys run a great event. I don't want you guys to get offended. Because there are certain events that get offended <laughs> with what we talk about. <laughs> oh, no. oh, when no. Gage specifically talks. Oh, no. Um, no, so then we go in. I remember walking in. I'd be like, oh, sorry, I got to go by. And at first they're like, who's this guy nudging? I'm like, oh, you got to play. I'm like, yeah, I, I got to get in there. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing their faces. Um, so we go in. And then there's a there's a Hall of Fame speech. Jason, love his soul. Uh, he's talking for a while. Uh, he's having the time of his life. And uh, he was talking for a while there. And don't, don't go to that. Um, and so that was another 45 minutes. The Hall of Fame, the uh, National Anthem, the fireworks, the warm-up. 45 minutes after the women's final. And then we go, and then we finally get to play. And not our best game. We never, like, same thing as Orange County Crown. Not our best game either, but we got it done. I was talking to Mike about this. We got it done. Not good a, serve. Good, good. Yeah, games. really, really good team. Um, we're a little out of sorts. Uh, shout out to my boy, another another MVP, co MVP of the tournament, maybe Aaron Lang, CBD yeah, guy. Yeah. You remember that last year because he was working the CBD oh, tent. Oh, I remember everything. very well. And you're like, and you're just looking in the other court. And you're like, what is that? Is that the weed I guy? Was <laughs> I was shocked. You're like this guy. You're like he's playing today, <laughs> and he made it to the semi. No, I, yeah, for reasons we can't say, we were very shocked that he was. Uh, he's been playing all day. <laughs> I was very shocked. Not only playing, but balling. Oh no! Like and he was great. Like yeah, he was in the final this year and last year. He's in. The, yeah, he's not. He's, he's really awesome. Good. He's, he's really a really good. solid. Like really solid player. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent solid. Really solid team with Tomas and Aaron. Grass, and the, who, who's, perfect for grass. Uh, Kyle, really, really good. Really nice guys as well. Really, really nice guys, and they were having fun up there. Um, remember one time they called our double, and yeah. second set we never call anything, anything. They called a questionable double. I think maybe they were kind of like, I mean, I mean, you got to kind of get as much as you can get against us a lot of time. So they were saying that they're trying to think they were just trying to get a point, which is the goal of volleyball. But at the same time, like, we're more about let it slide, let it play, you know, earn, earn your points maybe, but whatever. And then they go. I remember, Micah, you turned to me. He's like, oh, yeah, it's over now, boys. It's over now. And, Joe, you went to the net. What would you say? I have a video. You got it on tape, yeah. I have it on tape, slow motion. <laughs> no, Aaron is. Aaron came up to me, and I don't remember what he said to me. Um, but I just looked down like that's the worst thing you probably could have done. And he got like a little pissed, like a little like worked up about. It. I just turned around. He said, "What? What was that?" And I turned back. I'm like, "You heard me." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't mean I, I didn't mean to take shots. I mean earn your points. I mean like if it's a double, then call double. Know, I guess. Sure. I mean, if you, like people like, call, but for us, we just use that like. Yeah, that always goes really well. That fire, though. It usually goes well for us. Yeah. It really, really helps me out of a lot of situations. Yeah. Like, when I'm just like, uh, and then, like, overseas, <laughs> and then we get a call that's just blatantly terrible. I'm like, oh, I'm up now. Super sure. <laughs> We're taking this home. And we get a lot of upsets because I'm just like, yeah. you're just playing out of ang- rage. And, and it was. And you a, play so good out of rage. Yeah. I don't know. Some people don't, but I'm always yeah. playing really well out of rage, yeah. so. And we got it done. It was like 23, 25, or 21. 26, 24, yeah. maybe? I could have, we could have ended it. Joe had some, Joe, Joe saved our ass a lot of time because he had some really good, and then I, he dug one ball. We yeah, could have ended I it. I didn't. No, 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 no. It wasn't your fault. It was my fault. No. Set. It was a terrible no, that set. that thing was above the net. I, and it was high. It had a nice arc. I could have put, I put you off the net. Our name is literally out of system. I got to make better out of system sets no, when it no, counts. No, I don't know. I, that's definitely one spot that I struggled in this tournament compared to the last tournament, is the out-of-system hitting. Last tournament, I felt like I was a lot stronger out-of-system. And this this summer, like, some weird stuff would happen. I'm, like, not as confident or not as clean mm-hmm. contact on the ball. Yeah. But that one is, for pe- people that are out there, like, hitters, 
just take the blame. Like the ball's above the net, you make a mistake. You could have done something better. Dude. You could have done something better, and you if you couldn't, you could have made a decision to do something to keep the play alive or anything like that. I don't know. That's how we both feel. If I ever put something up for you and you don't yeah. put it away, you're not going to tell me it's a bad set. You're going to say you could have done something with that. Also, quick shout-out to Tomas for calling that touch. Because I, I missed on the line. That I, I've never seen a sportsman. Like, that is a, that is a gnarly goal. Because I, I didn't, if I got it, I didn't get it by much, you know. Um, but you're right. But as long as I just kind of thought of that. But you're right. I think that hitters need to take more blame and stuff. Come on, it's ironic. I'm from Libero. <laughs> uh, but I, I, do, I do my fair share hitting at these tournaments. But I'm going to stand by this. And I, and I knew this before the tournament. I was telling Faye this. I was like, we definitely got better. I knew from OC. O- I know. I know. Here's where we got better. I, besides our serving. <laughs> serving, we just were out of rhythm. But I think you... You were hitting, you're jumping better, and you're hitting over people. Like it was consistent OT every single time. Like every time, pulling off defense got better, and blocking defense got better. Yeah. Um. So all around, me, my back row defense got better. Yeah, for sure. And that's really all I did. I think I think hitting hitting yeah, I just stay steady. Really steady. Yeah. Um. I think my setting got a little better, except for the few plays. Um. Joe, pulling off defense got a lot better for yeah. sure. Um, he was our best blocker last year. So. Yeah, yeah, and then best but blocker and blast better. better but. Yeah, do you think he's blocking up better? Do you think he got? I don't know. It felt yeah. the same as always. Yeah. yeah. But your defense, did your defense feel different? I don't know. It just felt the same. Inside flying, I just couldn't serve. It was the thing. I had no rhythm on my serve. I was like tossing it up, and I just like feel like it couldn't go like max. Sometimes I just feel like I can go and just it'll go in. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why I was hitting balls that felt so good off my hand, and just out. Tough. Usually, Sometimes usually if I'm like, not feeling it, then I don't feel good off contact. But I was feeling good on my contact. This is going out. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Until it went out. <laughs> Sometimes it really be like that. But I, that's what I'm saying. I think that was. This is the first time we really won something off purely a lot off our defense. All of our defense. Purely off our defense. Not, but mostly off our defense. Usually, it's well, usually. You just mean we just didn't serve as well. Didn't serve as well. You don't win purely. But you off get what I'm saying. Ball. But you get what I'm saying. Yeah, we just didn't serve as well, and we and our defense picked it up a little bit. Yeah, a lot of it. You have to score off defense. But it's also the games are a lot closer because we weren't serving as well. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's another point. Yeah, do. so that's it wasn't true. like, you know, our games were a lot but closer. But think about how many digs or blocks we got in crucial times. Think about that. It was 17-16 them, you got a block. 17-17. Oh, we, no, they were up two. And then there's our serve, 16-17. Boom, big block. 17 all now. Now I was like, yeah, okay, sure. we got him. I'm sure, I'm sure there's some Dude, trust sure, me, I'm but... telling you. And then Joe gets the two defensive plays, I'm telling you, and that ended it. All right, Joe's really into this podcast, so we're going to end it right here. Joe, why don't you close this out? <laughs> Joe, Joe, close out. Any hey, shout-out to Big shout-out to all of our sponsors for this coming weekend. We're on Oahu. If you're on Oahu, come out to Kailua, um, KDP, Kailua District Park, Sunday. We're playing all day. A bunch of UH boys and girls will be playing there, too. Um, and a lot of content coming out from Alpaca. Everybody check out our YouTube page. We're almost at night twenty thousand on Instagram. Uh, big shout out, Doctor Price Electrolytes, keeping us hydrated. Slunks for keeping us slunky all summer. Uh, Wilson for providing all the equipment this summer. Um, and yeah, we're just fired up, fired up to be here, fired up to be on Oahu, um, and come join us this week. It's gonna be a good time. A lot of good volleyball uh, and good people and absolute chill vibes. Wow, sounds like just remember, can't have the heat, goddamn kitchen. This is another. This has been another episode presented by Out of System.